Hello, my name is Vera and I'm a musician and a knitter and I also design knitwear that I have on Ravelry in my pattern library. You can find me there under Vera Marco or you can find me on Instagram under Vera Loves Knitting. Today I would like to talk to you about my um, design, the cockle shell feature. The cockle shell stitch pattern is this pretty thing right here. It is an old Shetland um, stitch pattern and it's basically 19 stitches that grow uh, through yarn overs and in the row before last you have 15 long stitches that you drop and then you knit them all together creating this semicircle that is very pretty. I first stumbled upon this stitch pattern in an old Verena magazine. Now Verena doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. It's a German knitting magazine and in the 90s we used to get it uh, in Romania where I'm originally from and uh, I still have the, that magazine that inspired, there it is, it has been loved, <laughs> it's stuck together with some sticky tape. It even has the old price. Let me see if you can see. So, Deutsche Mark. <laughs> the euro didn't exist yet. So there's the price there and the date February 95. So it came every month and I remember the excitement when I used to go to the news shop, the newspaper shop and get a copy and then I would sit down with my mom and we would go through it and oh, I would like to make that and I would like to make that and it was great fun and my mom had a whole collection of old knitting magazines and when I moved to Australia where I live now I um, brought with me about 10 of my very favorite Verena um, magazines from the 90s and sometimes I go back through them although I know them by heart <laughs> but there's there is still inspiration in there so the cockle shell stitch I did the pattern I will put a photo here for you so you can see what the pattern looked like it was basically the border of a, a jumper that was done in this um, cockle shell stitch um, I did knit that pattern um, in cotton, I remember it was a spring cotton, maybe an eight ply a blue, and I did it in a v-neck, um, and I I loved it. I thought this is so fun. For it doesn't look like knitting; it looks like crochet, and I don't know how to crochet. I can't. I can do the simplest things, but not anything intricate. So I was very excited that you could do something so lacy and pretty with knitting. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I remembered this stitch and I thought it would be fun to have it in a, in a shawl or in a cowl or something. So my first idea was to make a shawl or a cowl where I would use it repeat it next to each other so there it is here in this is in alpaca four ply as you can see what I've done is I've done lots of repeats next to each other and then right in the middle where is the middle here so right here I joined them in a kitchener stitch so there are basically two cowls of uh, 20 repeats, I think. It's quite long, as you can see. So 
So, oh, let's take the blue one off. And I can wear this twice around my neck like this. Or if it's a really cold day and I want even more warmth, I get it around three times. But it's not for the faint-hearted because when you get to that round and you have to do your 20 repeats of this 15 dropped stitches, ah, oh, it's painful. It, I, yeah, I wouldn't do it again. Hard work. So then I thought I would still like a little neck accessory using this stitch, but in a easier to knit version. So what happens with this one is you start from this end from one repeat of the stitch that's 19 stitches here then you have three so you cast on using either the backwards loop or the cable cast on you cast on to the right and to the left of your little 19 stitch first repeat and so you have three repeats that's right here three repeats and then you have five repeats <laughs> so you can see here they look like they're not together but i have to promise you they are these ones are five in a row so you have five and then after you have five the middle one that you started with becomes garter stitch and then all of them become garter stitch yeah so as you keep on casting on and starting new lines all the other ones become this easy garter stitch with lace in between so much more doable <laughs> um it is a bit tricky i'm not gonna say it's easy but it's not as hard as it looks so i would encourage you to try and to help you out i will make a little video uh, where I'm going to demonstrate the tricky last rows where you have to drop these yarn overs and to do 15 long stitches that get um, all knitted through becoming one stitch so that's the only really hard bit but I think I think it's doable so thank you for watching until here and I hope you will enjoy the little tutorial so here we are with the cockle shell stitch first repeat we have the 19 stitches that have become heaps more because in row 10 we've done lots of knit one yarn over twice so you have this extra lots of things happening so this is row 11 and what you're doing is these are the holes the big holes that you do so you do two yarn overs knit two together two yarn overs knit two together yarn overs and here we are we've done 14 of this uh, long stitches and we're just gonna drop them all now so this is one two four and they're all right here ready for me now this is the tricky bit you have to get your left needle through all the stitches making sure you don't miss any 
and go all the way back to where you did the last yarn over. So there's my last yarn over right there. There it is. So these are my 15. They're all on both needles at the moment. I'm gonna get one knit stitch and I'm gonna pull it through carefully. And then I'm gonna let go. And there I have my 15 long stitches knitted into one. Then you have a yarn over, double yarn over, knit two together, double yarn over, knit two together, double yarn over. So this is where we get back to 19 stitches. This was row 11. So when you do your feature, what you're going to do next is you're going to do your um, cable cast on here. So you're going to add 19 stitches. Then you're going to knit and purl, like the pattern says, on through all the stitches. And then you're going to turn your work and do at the other end a cable cast on for 19 more. And then you go again. So it's 19 stitches over 12 rows. Those 19 stitches become all sorts of other numbers of stitches. <laughs> um, what's important is that when you get to this step, you have 19. Okay, good luck.